This morning, I'm heading out on a girl's thrifting trip with three of my good vintage reseller friends, Andra from Rose and Rain Vintage, Sarah from Shorty's Eclectic Vintage, and Andy from All Put Together. So let's go see what we find. Well, thanks for joining me today on this little thrifting adventure with the girls. I hope you are all doing well today. We are at the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store. That's a cute plate, but it is contemporary. So like I said earlier, I'm here with a few of my vintage reselling friends. So this is going to be a really fun day. There's one of those anchor hawking chip and dip bowls. Unfortunately, it's missing the little dip bowl and the attachment for it. And for $9.99, these are only selling for about $15, so I'm not going to get that. I know this guy's new, but he's just so cute. And he's almost at retail value as well. I was shocked, though, when I looked up the comps on this little piggy bank. That goes for quite a bit. I would never have thought. This little St. Patrick ceramic figure is very neat. I've seen similar items to this in antique stores, so I know he's of some value. It's a cool frog. I like the carving on this little lacquer-lidded trinket box. These are spoon rests. I learned about these not too long ago. Then I set eyes upon this River Junction pottery pot. I recognized it because I've sold this same type of pottery before, and it went really fast, so I definitely decided to go ahead and get that. I spotted this swung vase, and it seems to be a good brand, but it has a lot of cloudiness to it, so I decided to go ahead and pass on it. If you've watched my channel before, you may know already that I just love Mexican pottery, so this little Talavera pot is just right down my alley. I collect little planters because I have a lot of little plants, little succulents, and I think these are so cute. I will probably buy both of these and keep both of these. Here's just one example of all of my little pots of plants. This is a cool studio pottery vase, but unfortunately it has been repaired, so it doesn't have much value. These two really cool studio pottery bowls are being purchased by Irina, who is Andra's sister, who was also a vintage reseller, who I didn't know her name or anything about her when I did my introduction, but so now there's a little introduction to Irina from Welcome Me Home Vintage. I unburied this little candlestick holder to find out that those little candlestick things were really loose, so I unfortunately did not buy it, but it's still very cool looking. And then I spotted these Danish candlestick holders, but like my Myrtlewood ones at home, they're a little burnt on the top, so I decided to pass. Yes, I accidentally let my candles burn too far down, and I started charring the top of my candlestick holders. I was delighted to find these little Delft Tulip candlestick holders. I'm a big fan of the blue and white look. I was lucky to be with Andy from All Put Together because she's quite the brass expert. I almost picked that napkin holder up, but fortunately she told me that it's from Ikea. I've seen one of these on my friend Laura Caldwell's channel, and she figured out that it's supposed to have little people in it. I was going to buy it, but then I decided to ask Sarah if she would like to buy it. It's definitely more her style, and she was pleased to have that, especially for only $2. This wooden Viking boat thing is pretty neat. I enjoyed looking that up and finding out that it wasn't worth that much, but it's still a really cool item. Mm -hmm. 
I thought this handmade yellow dress was very sweet. I would have picked it up if it wasn't $24, if it was like seven or $8. Somebody put a lot of hard work into it and it's very pretty. Open sesame! Next stop, Goodwill. 50% off of all yellow tags. Look at my lovely lady friends. Say hi, Andy. Hi. Say hi, Andra. I find it very interesting how Goodwills can be priced so differently. Unfortunately, this Goodwill is way overpriced. I was shocked at how expensive everything was. There's really no room for profit for a reseller. Not everything was overpriced at this store. Definitely things that I probably wouldn't take to my antique spaces or try to sell on Etsy, but it's almost like maybe they've learned about Google Lens and they are seeing what the value of these things are and trying to get that value. I just watched Andy from All Put Together's video of the same event and she picked up the same mug and looked at it just like I did. It's so funny how when you watch the videos, you either say, oh, I looked at that same thing or you say, oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. It's so funny. I'm sure you've probably already watched her video of the same event, but if you haven't, you should definitely check it out. It's really good. This is where the sticker prices really hit me. These beautiful little German little berry bowls were $24.99 each, Yes, it was half price day, so they would have been half price, but they're not even going for that much in antique stores or online. I was I was very shocked. And again, yes, Fenton is valuable, but I don't want to pay $25 at Goodwill for a piece of Fenton. I want to buy it for $10 or less. This Westmoreland glass compote or centerpiece bowl is absolutely gorgeous, but it's $30 at Goodwill. Here it is online for $17.95, plus shipping would make it about the same amount. At first I thought this was Wedgwood, but it's not. It has that same sort of matte glaze. Now this little votive for $2.99, that's not bad. I thought this little tumbler glass was quite pretty, but there was only one of them. And then I really liked the pattern on this spongeware dish set for Christmas, but I kept looking and I couldn't find a price and I wasn't gonna buy it anyway, I was just curious. Here's another matte blue glaze that I recognize as Hagar. Thought I'd grab that little lady, very sweet. Here's some monkey pod, which I'm not buying anymore because none of mine's selling in any of my spaces. I thought this clock was pretty cool, but I passed on it. Here's some more expensive Fenton, $20 each for those candlestick holders and $29.99 for that bowl. Even this is pretty, but I don't I wouldn't pay fifteen dollars for that. This little avocado pan was cool. This was really disappointing. I really wanted to buy this because I thought it was really cute, but for fifteen dollars when they're selling for nineteen dollars online. And then these miss me jeans, I thought these were so cool, but I wasn't gonna spend twenty dollars on them since they weren't in my size. Our next stop 
was Gladstone Mercantile, which is an antique shop that I've never been to. But the other girls had been there and they were so excited to take me there. At first I thought this beautiful thing was a candle holder, but it turns out it's an ashtray. I couldn't imagine putting ashes on that beautiful item. If you haven't already watched Andy's video, I'm gonna give you a spoiler. Andy bought this beautiful fish. She's so lucky. You now know of my love for planters, and I would have bought this guy if he wasn't $56, but he's just adorable. I also love this turtle. I'm also a big fan of shell art. I just think it's so beautiful. I did not know what these resin things were. I thought maybe they were candle holders and you put a pillar candle in there, but I Google lens them and found out that they are ashtray holders. I love this little mushroom box. I thought it was just so adorable. I found Waldo. Someday I'd like to make a shadow box with some of my own treasures.
another fun planter. I don't own any purple transfer wear, but someday I would love to. really know how this works, but the tag says it's a printer, so I believe them. Here's a shot of all three ladies' hauls. Sarah got those two little rams, Andra got those big seed things, and then Andy has a pile of brass over to the right. So here's my haul. First thing that I found at the Red, White, and Blue thrift store was this beautiful River Junction pottery pot for $7.99. I recognize this maker because I've sold this product before and it went really fast. It, people really like this beautiful Aztec look pottery. I also found this beautiful little Talavera pot for $2.99 and this darling little panda pot for $2.99 as well. So this came off this tag, but it was $5.99, which blue tags were 50% off at red, white, and blue that day. So I found this blue and white tablecloth, and I thought that would look really nice for staging. I also found for $3.99 this beautiful little table runner in the blue and white. Seems to be my theme for that day. And as you saw, I found these Delft Tulip candlestick holders, which I just think are just so precious. I can't wait to set these up, stage them on my dining room table. You didn't see this, but I found this really pretty cover up. This blue and white I just think is so great. I might try to use this on some of my upcycling projects, and I paid $2.99 for it. I found this one for $3.99. It's got a little basket embroidered on it, and I found this one for $3.99 with the embroidered flower. And I just thought these would look super cute um, on some of my upcycling projects. I found this vintage vest. It's excellent, made in the USA. And, you know, something fun like a little patch of this on here or something. So we'll see what projects I get into. I'm almost getting to that point where I have. I need to set up my sewing machine and get going on some of my projects. I also found this funky green and orange afghan for $4.99. I found these cool corduroy overalls. I've been wanting some corduroy overalls. So I thought I might do some fun patches on these for $5.99. I also found this, I believe it's vintage, Jeremiah flannel shirt. For $5.99. I thought that was very cool. Looked nice with some boots or something. Some jeans. I got these for $3.99 each. Mariposa vintage candlesticks. I thought these would look really nice staged for Christmas maybe with some red candles and some green garland around. At the Goodwill, I found these plates for $6.99 for this set. And they are um, melamine. Is that how you say it? So they're not like super, you know, great plates or anything like that. But I, I'll show you what I have in mind. I want to set them up. I have a French tablecloth with the yellow and the blue. And I thought these would look really pretty on that table setting. I found this young lady in the Christmas section. She's a blue Hagar for $4.99. Well, that's my haul. I hope you liked it. And if you did, maybe you could give it a like or a thumbs up. And if you like this content, maybe you could subscribe to my channel. And if you're already subscribed, I appreciate it so, so very much.
Also, I've started membership. So if you're interested in supporting my small business and my channel, there is a link down below. And as always, I still have my promo code for my Etsy shop if you are interested for 15% off the vintage section. It's yes, please at Bridget Lefevre Shop. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you all are doing well. Bye-bye.